All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's Brother Yatazadak here of Israel. I'd like to start off by giving the honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Today we're going to Zechariah chapter 8, going into the Hebrew. So, Lord willing, you're edified, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Right, let's get right into it, right? Of course, we've got the elders here, right? James 5 and 10. I take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and patience, which is a great millstone in the Hebrew, is a Gadal Raka Aban, right? Which means great Gadal Raka is a, a, a milling, milling stone, a device used for milling, right? A bond means a stone, right? So it would be interpreted as a great milling stone, great millstone, right? Uh, so let's get right into it. Zechariah chapter 8. This chapter is pretty basic, nothing really uh, uh, too deep. This just goes into the, uh, let's look at the, uh, the header goes into the coming peace and prosperity of Zion right now this speaks about the exiles that returned from the Babylonian captivity as well as a, a, a future prophecy right so let's get right into it Zechariah 8 and 1 which reads and was the word of the Lord of hosts uh, to say Salakian came to pass the word of the Lord of hosts to say why Yahya the bar Yahweh has a wafla more thus say the Lord of hosts I am jealous of for unto Zion with a jealousy great and fury great and I I am jealous for her Mar Yahweh Tazabawath Kwanathia La Taza Yawan Kwana Gadala Wa Hama Gadala Kwanathia Laha Zechariah 8 and 3 Thus saith the Lord Thus saith the Lord, I, I will return unto Zion, and I will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and will be called Jerusalem, city of truth, and the mount of the Lord of hosts, the holy mount. Ka'amar Yahweh, Shabbatia, al Tazayawan, wa Shakanath, Shakanathia, Atawaka, Yerushalayim, Wana Kwara'a, Yerushalayim, Ayar, Ha'amath, Wahar, Yahweh, Tazbawath, Har Hakwadash. Now that word Shabbatia, Shabbatia, means uh, uh, the root word is Shabbat, not uh, Shabbat as in to seize. It's Shabbat. Uh, Thaya means I have returned or I will return. Right. Zechariah 8 and 4 Thus saith the Lord of hosts, even will dwell, even will dwell, uh, even will dwell in it, old men and old women in the streets of Jerusalem. And a man with a staff in his hand, because of great, uh, because of a uh, great age or old age, but here is Marab, Yemayim, meaning of many days. It's another way to say old age. Ka'mar Yahweh Tazabawath Ad Yeshabwa Zakwanyim Wa Zakwanath. Ba Rahabath Yerushalayim Ba Ayash Ma Shayanath Wa Ba 
Yadwa Marab Yamaya. Is that where Shayan means? Uh, literally means to lean, right? Mashayan is another way to say staff, right? Sometimes you'll read it as uh, Makwal. Sometimes you'll read it as Shabbat, uh, which means a uh, uh, um, uh, it means tribe, but it's another way to say staff. Uh, or Mata mean a scepter or a staff. That's the actual word for staff. Right? Zechariah. Now, why is this not the future prophetic? Uh, why is this not talking about future prophecy? Why? Because scriptures say that uh, that we're going to uh, live forever in the kingdom of heaven. Right? This is talking about the Lord is talking about those that, that will return once uh, the second temple is rebuilt. Right? And those that return from the exile, Babylonian exile, right? In due time, and those that are scattered amongst those uh, neighboring areas. So this is not actually talking about the kingdom of heaven. It's talking about the uh, return from the Babylonian captivity. Zechariah 8 and 5. And the squares of the city will be filled uh, with young men and young women uh, playing in, in the uh, square, in her square. Right? A square is like, uh, for example, downtown. Downtown has a central area of uh, congregating where one congregates or goes shopping. There's, there may be malls or whatever the case may be. Right? Every town has a square. It's the center of the town, basically. Zechariah 8 and 5. Wa Rechabath Ha'ayar Yab Malaawa Malaawa Slaki. Yeladium Wa Yaladath Ma Shachakium Ba Rechabath Ya. Right, the word Shachak means uh, to sport or to uh, joke or in this case to play right so again this is talking about the, uh, re the return of the those exiles right because it's going to be different in the kingdom of heaven right um, so we're not going to be sitting there Right, in the kingdom of heaven with staffs and right because we're getting old and we're withering away that's not that's not what's gonna happen right uh, Zechariah 8 and 6 thus saith the Lord of hosts because it may seem wonderful in the eyes of the remnant of the people this uh, in their days uh, the the days uh, unto them, in the days they, so like in the days unto them, even in the eyes, my eyes will be wonderful, saith the Lord of hosts. Ba Yamayam Haham Gum Ba Ayanya Yapalaa Naam Yahawo Tazamawath. Right? Because um, that word Palaa means uh, wonderful or something extraordinary. Right? <laughs> because those that are uh, returning from the uh, Babylonian exile. Right. Um, it was. Uh, it took. It, it it took a lot of great toil. Right. Uh, you had uh, a lot of uh, the surrounding nations, the heathens. Right, complaining uh, unto the uh, kings. 
that uh, put forth particular decrees right, in order to stop the uh, building of the uh, second temple, right? But it's, nothing is too, uh, um, nothing is, is too much for the Lord to perform, right? Zechariah 8 and 7, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will deliver unto my people from the land of the east and from the land from the going down of the sun. Zechariah 8 and 7, Ka'amar Yahweh Tazamawath Hanayah Ma Mashayai I'm Ya, Ma Arataza, Ma Zarach, Wa Ma Arataza, Ma Bawa'a Hashamash. Now, this is talking about the uh, future prophecy, right? The kingdom of heaven. Because you didn't have any of Israel, right? Except the, uh, uh, Right, uh, those that had uh, traveled in distant lands, right, they may have settled, right, um, for example, coming out of Egypt, right, there's particular stops, you may have had those that had settled in, in different areas, right, but they would still, right, uh, uh, as time passed, make uh, their pilgrimage, right, according to the law. Right. Or whatever the case may be, you always had Israelites uh, scattered. Right? But this is talking about future prophecy because the Lord said, uh, I believe that's the book of Isaiah, right? From the east to the west, from the, rise, from, from the north to the south, will gather his sons from afar. Right? Zechariah 8 and 8. I will bring unto them and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem and will be unto me to a people and I will be and I I will be unto them a God in truth and in uh, righteousness right which is a uh, tazadak which means righteousness or justice right or, or uh, to be just so it reads waha ba'a Pathaya, Atham, Wa Shakan Wa, Pathawaka, Yerushalem, Wa Hayawa, Laya, Laim, Anya, Ahaya, Laham, La Alahayim, Ba Amath, Wa Ba Tazataka. Zechariah 8 and 9 Thus saith the Lord of hosts uh, Strengthen your hands Those that are here in the days are uh, these Those Right He that heareth in the days those Unto the words Are uh, these from the mouth Of the prophets Which in the day Foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts Are uh, the temple uh, was built. Ka Omar Yahweh Tazabawath, Tha Chazakna, Yad Yakum, Ha Shamayim, Ba Yamayim, Ha Alha, Tha Ha Tabarium, Ha Alha Mapaya, Ha Nabaya Ayim, Ashar Ba Yawam, Yasad Ba Yat Yahweh Tazabawath. Ha ha ya call la ha banath. Right? Now, this is talking about, um, right, uh, future and uh, past tense or during that time, right? Because there was uh, prophets that, that were there at the rebuilding of the second temple, right? Um, but, right, really, you 
can apply this right to the prophets that were here since the foundation of the world right for example in the book of genesis that voice that cool in the midst of the cool of the day was the voice of the prophets which is uh through the lord right he always had uh particular messengers right um that would that would uh um um speak on his behalf or he would speak through them right it is really talking about for the return of the uh babylonian exile the rebuilding of the second temple right but it's referencing even the the, the prophets that came before that the prophets in general right but this was up to the time of the uh, uh, contemporaries like Zechariah, uh, Haggai, so on and so forth. Right? Now let's look that up uh, now that we're on that subject, just for some edification. What prophets were contemporary? since Zechariah it says Zechariah's prophecies took place during the reign of Darius the Great and were contemporary with Haggai in the post exilic exilic world after the fall of Jerusalem in 587 BC Ezekiel and Jeremiah wrote before the fall of Jerusalem while continuing to prophesy in the early exile period. So he was contemporary with Haggai. about 520 518 BC right which is on point because Jeremiah prophesied that uh, the Babylonian captivity would take place about 70 years right about 60 60 or so 60 70 As during the exile, many Judahites and Benjamites were taken to Babylon, where prophets told them to make their homes, suggesting they would spend a long period of time there. Eventually, freedom did come to many Israelites. When Cyrus the Great overtook the Babylonians in 539 BC. Right? So 539, right? And then 520, starting Zechariah to prophesy. 538, the famous, the famous Edict of Cyrus was released, and the first return took place under Sheth Bazar after the death of Cyrus in 530 BC. Right, so you have, uh, you also have Zerubbabel, right, um, it's another contemporary. Anyways, let's go back to the uh, Zechariah. Um, Zechariah eight and ten. before the days uh, unto them uh, the hire of man uh, was not and the hire of beast uh, was not and it was not uh, and to go out and to enter there was no peace because there was a lot of turmoil go going during that time, right? Uh, because of the siege, and I sent out unto all uh, men a man uh, against his uh, uh, neighbor. 
kaya lapanya ha yamayam ha ham shakar ha adam la a mahayu wa shakar ha bahama ayana wala yataza a wala ba a ayan chalawam man hatazar wa ashalach atha kol ha adam ayash ba raya wa Let's look at the blue letter, Zechariah 8 and 10. says that the rebuilding of the walls after this time, the Samaritans, Arabians, Ammonites, Ashdodites conspired to fight against Jerusalem and to slay them. Nehemiah 4 and 7 through 11. Right, so they're building with, uh, I believe the scripture says that with uh, swords in their hands. Right, with a sword in one hand and a plow in the other. Right, that's not, not talk about, uh, Israelites against Israelites is talking about the turmoils that was happening during the time of the rebuilding of the Second Temple. Right? As I suspected, Zechariah 8 and 11 and now it is not like the days former which I will be unto the remnant of the people this, say the Lord of hosts. Right, so now, right, uh, the Lord is distinguishing through Zechariah, right, what he's talking about uh, during that time, and things uh, uh, that are being spoken concerning prophetic uh, words, right. It says, Wa'aitha la'a kayumayum ha ra'ash nayum anaya La Sha'ar Yath Ha'aim Haza Na'aim Yahawul Tazabawath There's not going to be, right, all this turmoil. Of course, we're going to go through what we have to go through, right? But the deliverance and the, uh, uh, the end is going to be quick. Right, the Lord is going to work a quick work. Right, the Lord said He's going to work a short work upon the earth. Right, uh, Zechariah 8 and 12. Because that, because that which is sown shall shall prosper. Uh, the vine will give its fruit, and the earth will give unto its produce, and the heavens will give. Um, and the heavens uh, will, will give to its moisture, to its dew, so like it. Um, and I will cause to inherit unto the remnant of the people this, unto all of these, talking about the kingdom of heaven, right? But really, right, the spirit will sow in the word and will prosper, right? The camps are out, right? Uh, uh, the word is going out, right? The sit downs are getting done, going into the Hebrew, going into the Greek, right? We've got our elders doing their job, everyone's doing their job. We all have a job, we all have an office, and we all have a lot, 
right? Whatever the case may be, right? Everyone that's doing the job, exhortation, right? Uh, even the uh, the smallest uh, of the jobs, right? Reading out the precepts, right? We're all doing the job. No, we're, we're part of that body. No, no, no one is is greater than the other. There's, there's only one, and that's Yahweh Bashem Yal Shai, right? Uh, so it says. Kayazarai Hashalawam, Hagapan, Thathan, Parya, Baha Rataza, Thathan, Atha, Yabala, Waha Shamayam, Yatanwa, Talam, Tal meaning do, Talam meaning the heavens will give to its due. Baha Nachalathya Nachalathya Atha Sha'aryath Ha'ayn Haza Atha Kol Alha Right, it's talking about the kingdom of heaven, right? Literally, right, that which will be sown is going to prosper the vines, right? It says in the book of Isaiah that the Garden of Eden will be the earth, the whole earth, right? First, you gotta have that purging fire, right, which is coming with the, uh, the third of all, Armageddon, World War Three, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, the earth is gonna give its produce, the earth is gonna be restored, but there's gotta be a lot of uh, bloodshed. Uh, Zechariah 8 and uh, 13. And it will come to pass like which you were a curse um, among the nations, house of Judah and house of Israel. So I will save you, and thou shalt be a blessing. Do not fear. Uh, strength, strengthen your hands. Wa haya ka ashar haya. Haya Yatham Kwala Bagwayum Bayath Yahawada Wa Bayath Yasha Allah Khan A Shayai Athakam Wa Haya Yatham Baraka Al Tha Yarawa Yarawa Tachazakna Yad Yakum. Right? Lord saying, Do not fear. Al Thaya Ra'awa. Ra'awa. Right? So he's talking about future prophecy because he's talking about Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom, which is why it says Judah and Israel. Sometimes it'll say Jacob, Israel, and Israel. Right, or well, sometimes Judah and Israel. Also, the the Northern Kingdom sometimes reference as Joseph, House of Joseph, or Ephraim. Right, um, so on and so forth. Zechariah eight and fourteen. Because I say the Lord of hosts, like which I have devised uh, to do evil unto you in, in, in indignation unto your fathers. Um, so like in which provoked your fathers unto me, saith the Lord of hosts. Um, and I did not comfort. Right? Because that word Quatazayap means indignation, but in this case it means um, uh, to provoke, right? So it says, Kaya ka Omar Yahawa, Tazabawath, Ka Ashar, Zamathia, Laha, 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 Rai, Lakam Baha Kwatazayap 
Abba Thaya Kam, Ataya, Amar Yahawa Tazabawat, Walaa, Nachamatia, right? So where Nacham means uh, to comfort or to uh, repent. Right, so we please the Lord uh, to bruise Yahweh just like even the, the remnant, right? We're, we're uh, the servants not um, greater than, than his Lord, right? Which is Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, right? Which is, right, certain things have to have to happen, right? You gotta just uh, deal with it. That's, the, that's just life, you know? Um, Zechariah 8 and 15 So I will return and I will devise in the days uh, uh, Those to do good unto Jerusalem and unto the house of Judah Do not fear Khan Shabbatia Zamathia Bayamayim Ha'olha Laha Yatayab Atha Yerushalayim Wa tha bayath yahawada al tha yara'awa. Zechariah 8 and 16. Let's see what verse we got left. Alright, come on. And can you pass the word of the Lord of hosts unto me to say, Wa yahaya dabar yahawah tazabawath alia la amar. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the fast of the fourth, and the fast of the fifth, and the fast of the seventh, and the fast of the uh, tenth month, that is, will be to the house of Judah for, uh, uh, for to rejoice, um, and to be glad, and the appointed and for the appointed times to be good uh, to do good and truth and uh, and a peace to love right which says Ka Amar Yahweh Tazawam Tazawam Ha Rabaya Ayah Wa Tazawam Ha Chamaya Shaya Wa tazawam, tazawam means to fast. Ha shabaya, shabaya aya. Wa tazawam, ha ashaya raya. Yahaya la bayath, yahawada. Ashashwan, wala shamacha. Right? Meaning for joyfulness and to uh, rejoice. Wala mayadium. Mayad or Mawa'id means an appointed time or festival or a season, right? So it's saying occasions to for gladness, for joy, gladness, and um, for seasons uh, to do good, right? Which is why it says the Wabiyam and truth and peace thou shalt love. Waha Amath, Waha Shalawam, Habwa. Zechariah 8 and 20, thus saith, it's talking about back then, right? You can go into, I believe, the sixth chapter. It's talking about uh, particular men that were scattered and were returning to uh, um, give their offerings to build, rebuild the temple, right? Uh, they were asking Zechariah particular questions. Should they still fast? Should they still do this and that? And which, which is what they were doing when they were scattered. But the Lord didn't take that into account. Right? He said, you are not fasting for me. You're doing it on your behalf. Right? Because my temple's not built. Right? I believe that's in the book of Haggai. The Lord is saying, let's see if we can get that real quick. Since we're um, going into the uh, contemporaries, which I could have brought out in the uh, when 
I did chapter 6, I believe that's chapter 6, let me go back and do that, and then we'll go into Haggai, Zechariah, Zlaki, Zechariah 6, So that was 7 verses 2 through 5. Alright. But you can check out the chapter 7 video. And we're going to go into um, Haggai. and lo it came to little he brought it home and I did blow upon it why said the Lord of hosts because mine house that is waste and you run every man unto his own house right so this was uh, to stir up the spirit of those that were uh, rebuilding the temple which is what the prophets always did stirred up the spirits of the people right in, in a particular way, in a correct way. Not like you see other camps, you know, they're just out there saying all kinds of crazy shit. You motherfucker, you're wicked, you're, the Lord's gonna kill you. That's not what it's about. That's not what it's about. This prophet, this uh, ministry is about speaking uh, sound words that cannot be condemned, right? We're not out here to debate the truth. We're not out here, we're, we have a message and we give it and then Right, and then that's it. Right, we're, we're not going back and forth. We're not, right, calling out every Edomite that walks by. You mother, Edomite, you're an Edomite. You're gonna die. No, that's not what it's talking about. Because one, you don't even know if that's an Edomite. That could be a Jake. Just like Northern King, that could be that could be a a, a, a Jake. That could be a Northern King, but he might he might look a little whitewashed, right? But anyways, let's go back. The Lord is going to kill you. Right? That's not what we're out here to do. Right? We're supposed to give the word and, right, give out the prophecies and, uh, and make it plain upon tables. <coughs> so like it. Zechariah 8 and 20, thus saith the Lord of hosts, even which uh, will enter peoples and inhabitants of, of many cities. Ka Amar Yahweh Tazapawath Ad Ashar Yabaawa Yabaawa Amayim Yashabia Aryam Rabath and will go the inhabitants of one city to another uh, to say let us go uh, let us go to go and entreat unto the face of the Lord and to seek unto the Lord of hosts I will go even I right that's talking about uh, the kingdom of heaven right because now you know the, 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 the nations are scoffing right you got Hamalek right over there uh, fucking bashing chickens with no with no temple you're sitting there bashing uh, uh, chickens and you don't have you don't have you don't have a temple you don't have but you, you claim that you claim to be right keeping the Lord the word of the Lord. Right? Now some of our people are are are, are there, right, amongst Amalek, but 
I'm talking about the small hats, right, in the Holy Land, because our people are scattered everywhere, right? When the Lord never talked about delighting in sacrifices, he delighted in what? Uh, keeping the ways of the Lord, which is what? The things written in the law, the prophecies, they don't know the prophecies, right? Send their sacrifice. The Lord never said sacrifice a chicken, right? But our people were there. People are here, there, right? But two thirds are gonna uh, take the uh, karagma. They're gonna be. The Lord is gonna destroy them. They're gonna come back in the kingdom of heaven. But it's talking about the kingdom of heaven, because in that day, the nations will be in order, right? You're not gonna have. Uh, motherfuckers with the uh, um, you know you're not going to do whatever you want like the elders and apostles say right, we're going to have power to control um, the weather right which Esau does that but he does that on the left hand side right the elements right he'll just like uh, you have uh, kill gates unleashing uh, goddamn mosquitoes and causing all kind of havoc like what we're gonna do it unto those that do not or cause the rain to cease to those that do not keep uh, 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 righteousness going in the earth and that's just one of just that's just one of many examples right it's gonna be so many ways that we're going to not afflict you heathens but you're going to have to do uh, uh, what Yahweh Bashem Yahushai says. Because we're going to be um, uh, angelic beings in that day. Right? When you think about that, right, you, you think about these movies that you watch, right? Um, these futuristic movies, right, or these uh, Marvel movies, and that's what it's talking about. It's not talking about, right, um, mixing up a fucking potion and using smoke and mirrors. It's gonna be like it's gonna be literal angelic uh, um, uh, forces, which are gonna be the Israelites. Right and righteousness, right? Not like Esau on the left hand side, he's got his technology and and whatnot, right? It's gonna be nothing like that, right? Zechariah eight and twenty one. Wahalakwa yashabia, achath al achath. Meaning will go the inhabitants, a one unto one. As in one to another to say, La Amar Nalaka, um, Halak, La Halath, Atha Panya Yahawa, Wala Bakwash, Atha Yahawa Tazabawath, Alaka Gam Anaya, Anya, right? Because in that day, they're going to be in awe, right? They're going to see Jake, right? Uh, just glistening and, and, and their majesty, right? They're going to say, oh, shit. Uh, the Israelites are pulling up the chariots, and right? Okay, uh, we, we hear the trumpet coming from Jerusalem. Okay, now they're going to go from one city to another. Right, some of them are gonna be happy, right? And some of them are gonna be they're gonna be like, oh shit. We better we better start going uh making our journey. You know, they're you know they're gonna say, Let's go seek the Lord. We're gonna die. Right? And some of them some of them are gonna be happy. Right? They're gonna be like, Oh shit, okay, it's that time, you know, we're gonna we're gonna see the gods. You know, but this ha this has to happen—the destruction, right? 
the uh, the hardcore uh, bondage that these heathens are gonna, right? We're gonna literally uh, mold them and raise them to keep the uh, uh, right. They're gonna have the fringes. They're gonna have right everything, right? No more rats, cats, bats, rat soup, cat soup, none of that shit. Right? So they're gonna go from one city from one city to another. Right? They're gonna say, let us seek the Lord of hosts. Even I will go. Right? So that's kind of a contrast between those that are gonna be fucking scared. And then other and then some will be willfully they're gonna be like, Oh shit, I'm going I'm going there. I'm gonna go see the the, the gods. Right? Zechariah eight and twenty two. Which in the Hebrew when you say gods it's Alahayim, which means powers or judges. Right? That's just lesser powers, right? Zechariah 8 and 22. Uh, Wapa'awa, Amayim, Horselake, and will enter peoples many and nations mighty to seek unto the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem to entreat unto the face of the Lord. Wapa'awa, Amayim, Rabium, Wagawayim, Aitazawamium, La Bukwash, Tha Yahawa, Tazabawath, Ba Yerushalem, Wa La Chalath, Tha Panya Yahawa, Zechariah 8 and 23. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, In the days, uh, in those days unto them which, um, which they will take hold. Ten men from all, uh, from all tongues of the nations, and will take hold upon the uh, uh, the garment, or the end of the garment of a man which is a Jew, to say, "Let us go with the. We will go with you because we have heard that God is with you." Right. So some are going to be like, you know, they're going to take. You're gonna take, right, uh, try to touch the garment, like when you see a uh, movie star, right? You're gonna try to touch the garment. Oh shit, why is it? I've never seen this kind of. Why is it shining like that? It's gonna have stones all over, right? Um, and um, they're gonna say, right? They're gonna willfully obey, right? Of course you're going to have those that rebel, right? Because they're not going to be perfect, right? Like the nation of Israel. But you're going to have those that will willingly go, right? Um, especially the little ones. I mean, they're going to they're gonna be in awe. They're going to be like, oh, shit. It's the flying. It's the super, right? It's the, uh, uh, super, the super angels are here. I'm not, I'm not. Right, they're gonna be like, oh, you know, they're uh, they're pulling up. Oh shit, the uh, the gods. You know, the children are gonna, Some of them are gonna be scared. Some of them are gonna be like, oh. They're gonna be like, whoa, right. And that's that's from the uh, the heathens. Ten means a complete amount. Right. The ten in the scriptures always symbolize completion. Seven is perfection. For example, you have the ten versions, which represents the whole nation of Israel. You have five wise, five foolish. Right? But it's talking about the complete, completeness. Right? Uh, so Zechariah 8 and 23 Ka Amar Yahweh Tazapawath Bayamayim Ha Hama Ashar Ya Chazayakwa Ashara Anashim Makal Lashanath meaning tongue. Sometimes you read Lashawan, sometimes it'll read uh, Lashan. 
Ahagwayim, Waha Chazayakwa, Baknap, meaning a skirt or a right the end of a garment, right, for a male. Ayash Yahadia, Yahawadia, La Amar Nalaka, I'm come, Kaya Shemai Nawa, Alahayim, I'm come. Right? So basically, that's just talking about uh, future prophecy, right? And um, that's pretty much it. This is uh, Zechariah chapter 8, going into the Hebrew. It's where the Atazadak hero of Israel is always openly gratified, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, Bashim El Kakwadash, double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone. Kwame Allah, Ababi Ball, Shalom.